Hey, what's up everybody? Glad to see you guys back here on the channel. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. In the house today, I have my guitar player from Seven Deadly Sins. His name is Sean Hernandez. Sean, thanks for coming over to the show. And uh, we're going to be checking out an amp from the people over at Panama. Now, if you guys don't know anything about this company at all, these guys are a little bit different. They're definitely thinking a little bit outside the box. Everything is handmade at the side of a volcano in Panama, and they do it out of all kinds of woods that they can keep using over and over and over again. So it's totally sustainable tone woods. Um, they use different type of build materials in their amps that I've ever seen before. When we take a closer look at the amp, you guys are going to see that it's built really nice. I mean, you have to admit, Sean, this thing just looks really nice, don't yeah, you think? It's great. I mean, and the whole front of the thing is just beautiful in the way it's laid out. Plus, it's a very, very small amp. You can take it with you wherever you go. Panama amps sell. They have them on eBay. They have them on Reverb. They really haven't broke through to the majors yet. And one thing I can tell you about these guys, even though this particular amp sold for $5.99, they have always make an offer on eBay and on Reverb. And if you make them a reasonable offer, they're a very reasonable company. They will take your money. Trust me. So today we're going to be looking at the Shaman. Now the Shaman amp is really nice. It goes all the way from like really nice clean chimey stuff all the way up and pretty much I can't really say melt your face metal but it does get very very heavy tones with inside of this amp. So with that said Sean's here today. He's going to be taking this nice little Jackson guitar we got right here and he's going to be using his guitar skills to run through the different settings. We're going to show you the clean tones. There's also a lot of features inside of this so let's jump right in and let's take a close up of the amp itself. Taking a look at the amp itself, you guys can see it features a very nice Tolex outside. The front of the amp is very nice. It has really nice wood colors. You guys can see the wood on this is just absolutely amazing. You have the Panama logo. What you guys can't see is what's actually inside of the amp. And there's five 12AX7s and two EL84s. Now, taking a look at the front of the amp, on the top you guys see the input switch. Below that is the foot switch. To the right hand side of that, this is the voicing. There are four different voicings on this particular amp. So you can change them up or down to get the settings that you particularly like. So starting off, let's check out the control knobs. Now each separate channel has its own control knob so that you can control them independently. So starting off, we have the gain knob. Then we see treble, mid, bass, the presence knob, and finally the volume knob. This amp also features two different types of power structures. When the switch is to the bottom, it's at 10 amps. When the switch is at the top, it's at 20 amps. There's also a switch on the end. This switches between the different channels. And then last but not least, we see the power and standby control switches. On the back of the amp, it's pretty simply laid out. You have your power input, and then you have your different type of settings for your speakers. You have 8 and 16 ohms, and actually there's a hard bypass switch as well as a fully functioning effects loop for adding effects to the amp. So the amp does look really nice, right? Yeah, definitely. But one thing you do not want to lose is this little slip of paper right here. I'll admit I had to look at it a couple of times because all of the control knobs have funky designs for changing all your different settings. I mean, if you lose that, can, that, that book, you're going to be like, Lost, yeah, you'd be like lost in space. What do I do? I'm sure eventually you could figure out as you sit there and tweak around them until you get used to it, but definitely don't lose that. Now, with that said though, let's jump in and let's test how this amp sounds. Now, first, we're going to be showing you the different settings on the clean channel. This is absolutely straight into the amp, there's no pedals, anything else. And then, we're going to go into the heavy stuff, which they call clean and unclean. Which, if any of you guys out there are science fiction fans, there's this book out there about Thomas Cummins, the unbeliever, and he was unclean. Anybody who reads, you know, old stuff, you guys will get that. But with that said, though, let's jump in. Let's see how the Shaman Am actually sounds. The Shaman, Shaman, sh 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 Shaman, it's... So we're going to start off with everything at the 12 o'clock position. Then we'll start changing all the different knobs for different tones. Trouble to the mix. Here's where I think it starts really sounding nice and chimey. Go ahead and turn up some of those mids. Keep cranking everything up. Now 
Give it some more presents. Now watch what happens when I change the gain knob. Turn the volume down. Up the gain. said there's two different voicings. That was the first voicing. Now I'm going to switch over to the other voicing. You guys can see now it's very, very bright. Very bright. I'll set everything back to the 12 o'clock position. We'll start over again. Poor Sean's fingers are probably getting tired. So here we go. Everything once again set in the 12 o'clock position on the second voicing. trouble. You can see how bright this really gets. Give it a little bass. Go ahead and turn everything up all the way up for you folks as well as you want to know what it sounds like. That's with everything buried all the way to the floor. Go ahead and adjust that stuff back one more time so you get different sounds. favorite setting on this particular channel. I like it a little bit brighter. A little bit more bass, not as much as on the other channel, and even a little bit more particular treble on this particular setting, and a little bit more volume. I think on the bright channel, this is my favorite. You can give it a little bit more presence if you want. just heard was in the 10 watt mode. Now let's turn the power up and let's do it in 20 watts. So now let's check out the unclean channel. We're going to start out on 10 watts and the voicing on this particular one is called crunch and everything is at 12 o'clock. So let's rock. <laughs> Type 80s type sound. <laughs> 
Now this right here, this is my particular favorite setting on this amplifier. This is where I think it sounds the best. You guys can let me know what you think. But as far as like just rhythms and this kind of stuff, for me, this is the perfect setting. So now let's go from the crunch to the lead channel and see how that sounds. <laughs> These particular settings right here are my favorite on the high gain channel. So now we're going to start back off on the crunch channel. I'm not going to bore you guys going through everything again, but we are going to go back to the crunch channel and turn the amp up to 20 watts. I'll just leave it on my favorite settings for both things so you guys can just hear the difference between the 10 watt and the 20 watt. <laughs> So now we're going to show you guys the high gain setting on 20 watts with a Tube Screamer 808 in front of it. Personally, I think this just tightens everything up and makes it sound really great. So let's check out that riff once again, this time though with a Tube Screamer. <laughs>
No, we're just kidding. All in all though, the Panama Shaman is a really nice amplifier. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, this is actually a B stock item that I couldn't find anything wrong with whatsoever. Now the street price is $5.99 for this particular amp. But like I said, you can make these guys a reasonable offer. I did, trust me. They will give you the deal that you want to do. Now, me personally, Overall, for the amp, I feel it's a B amp. What about you, Sean? Would you agree with me that it's kind of like right there in the middle of the road? I mean, it's not a Mesa, obviously, but the clean channels do kind of sound, you know, that good. Yeah, I agree. You know? I think it's a nice foundational amp. Um, it's definitely dynamic. It's got great cleans and it's got a good, decent gain channel. Um, but it's something that you could definitely build off of. Yeah, the clean channel I have to say about this particular amp is very, very nice. And something I wanna to just touch upon real quickly before we close out the video is that our particular chain is just the guitar, which is a nice Jackson, nice Fuchsia Jackson. We're going into the Tube Screamer, the 808, and into the amp, and you guys in the video saw where we mostly through the whole video just use the amp itself in its raw tone with no effects, no pedals, nothing else, except for when we got into all the unclean stuff. Now, as far as the unclean stuff, I thought it was flubby, a little bit muddy, and not really as tight as me as a metal guy would really want. What about you? Yeah, I think it's pretty par for the course. Um, as a metal guitar player, I like a really tight, tight gain sound. Um, it's nothing that an easy overdrive pedal can't fix. But I mean, what about if you're just like a guy who does rock? Yeah, if you, don't, if you're doing if rock. you do rock or you do like just like, you know, even pop stuff, actually, this amp would be really good for yeah, that, right? Rock, dirty blues, anything like that. Right oh, blues, right yeah, on, right definitely on. blues. Yeah, if you add like a nice, like, chimey like pedals like a delay and maybe a little reverb you can get this thing to really shine in the clean channels i mean if i was just going to rate the amp on the clean channel alone i would probably give the amp an a where i say the amp's a b channel i think you agree with me like we talked about is that for a metal guy and I, i'm coming from, from a metal aspect because we play in a metal band you guys have heard our music we're metal guys now that's not the only opinion and the end all of everything though right i mean if, yeah because like if you were in a different band and you weren't playing metal you'd probably be like hey no, this amp, for non-high-game non modern metal, I think it's 100% usable out of the box. Um, it could use a little love for modern metal, but... Yeah, but that's, you know, but how many of you guys out there actually play modern metal? There's not that many people. So if you're a person out there and you just play even just regular metal, 80s metal, that type of stuff, or you play rock or blues or any of that type of stuff, this is a very all-around amp. Plus, it's not just the same old thing. Let's just face it. We've all seen a billion amps from all the major companies. How often do you really see an amp that's handmade at the bottom of a volcano in Panama? That's one of the, you know, the really nice things that I think about this amp that's interesting because everything else you know made in china made here you, know, you have super high-end amps that's you know sell their places but not really something like this so at the end of the day i give it overall a b sean you agree with that as definitely well b, b. yeah definitely it's definitely a b amp as far as i'm concerned but you can get it for a really low price they have a stock b stock items and also one thing i didn't talk about is behind me what we use for our cab on um, this particular cab i believe they're not selling anymore they're selling a cab kind of like it this is a prometheus cab and uh i personally love it because it has two different types of speakers in it you have 50 hertz in the bottom 75 hertz at the top so at the bottom they're like vintage 30 speakers and at the top they're like a linko blue speakers and you can either set it to bright you can set it to normal or you can set it to bass. So you can set it to where you're just using the bottom speaker, you're using just the top speaker, or using both speakers in combination, which is what we did today. So I'm Elric, this is Sean Hernandez. Sean, thank you for coming to the show. We can shake hands or do fist bumps or do, or do back slaps and you know, whatever we wanna do, we can do the Three Stooges thing. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys later. We'll have links below all this type of stuff so if you guys want to get yourself an app like this then you can do so we'll see you guys back here on tech tomorrow yep. say goodbye Later, goodbye <laughs>